Hey everyone, it's late at night and I am Norman and something really cool just arrived. Let's see what it is. So I received an email from a Ross Gallen a few weeks ago asking me if I would be interested in reviewing a Towson watch. Of course, I said yes. And then I started googling Towson because I actually hadn't even heard of the brand. Also, I tracked down Ross Gallen, found his Instagram account, and followed him there. It turns out that he is the president of RMG Luxury Inc. So huge shout out to him for reaching out to me and being so kind as to pass this watch along for us to look at. I've included a link to his Instagram in the description below. All right, so let's see what's in here. This is one of the most expensive watches that we've looked at on this channel and one of the most interesting. So inside this box, we have this, which we will dig into in just a moment. When I saw this, I was a bit confused. There's a clasp in here and something in a pouch. I assumed it was a bracelet that I could swap the strap out for or something like that for my review, but nope, it is a pretty sweet pen. That is really nice and solid. Not sure why it's in here, but that's a great pen. We'll just put this back in the envelope and keep it in the box till I send this on to the next person. And here we have the box. Towson Watch Company, Maryland. This is an American brand. Oh, we have a Mission Moon Watch. Nice glossy wood finish here. Crazy. Let's get this out of here. Look at all those complications. That is pretty wild. We have the date, day of the week, month, 24 hour display, seconds, moon, a GMT, and a chronograph. So there were also a couple books here, just huge brochures. But this is actually really interesting. This has flip cards for their different models. So here we have the Mission Moon with all of its specs and some information on it and more images. This one looks great. That would be my choice. We also have the Skipjack GMT, the Cockpit Moon, the Norther, the, the Chop Tank. Wait a minute. Yep, the Chop Tank. That's really cool looking. The Masterpiece Collection, the watchmakers who founded the company, I believe, the Potomac. Bay Pilot, look at that crown. The Pride 2, I love that case shape, that's really cool. And the cockpit, that piece looks great. And the Martin M130. So as you can see, all their pieces are very sporty and yet they have classy and dressy elements in them. But if this watch is any indication, these are pretty uh, solid sporty watches. They remind me of sailboating. But enough of all that, let's see the watch. So this thing is just solid. Look at those lugs, just super solid. All right, let's put this thing on the wrist and see what it looks like. There's the Mission Moon. It looks really cool. The colorway isn't my personal preference. I really like the gray variant of this, but this thing looks really cool. The crazy thing is, I could have swore that this was 40 millimeters, but when I look at the specs, it's actually 42. This definitely wears smaller. 
and that is coming from someone who's used to wearing vintage pieces at like 36 millimeters or so. That is so sweet, and thanks so much, Ross, for sending this along. I am definitely enjoying it so far. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I'm gonna spend some time with this watch and its instruction manual. Then I'll do a full review of it. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.